why Alexi's got the Choco Cat peachy top, and I don't know whether to give it to her or Shin. I think Shin probably suits it better, but it looks nice on Lexi with this. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know. I was going to give this to Morgana, but I think it looks probably better on Marlies here. For some reason, I didn't think it would suit her, but I think it does, so she might have this. Very nice. Nice girl. Far too big and frumpy looking. It's like some sort of lampshade. What a shame. Far too big. It's for the pink passport, but the regular size Barbie, but it's far too big. It's even big on the curvies. I don't know what Mattel are thinking nowadays of these frumpy looking fashions. Oh, the black and white dress, that's an older one, but this is like one of the more up to date ones, and this is the sort of style they're going for today. The frumpy looking, horrible. That's better, back to her usual style. This looks good on her. <coughs> Excuse me, much better. That does look nice. This is her one, her, her original dress that I gave her a long time ago. Uh, Bernadette can have this. It's even too big on her and she's a curvy. Just shapeless and frumpy. I like the pattern though and the, uh, the metallic -y effect but yeah if it fitted like much closer on the phone, if it was fitted close it would look nice. Oh, that's nice, a bit of colour contrast. Anyhow, the shipping forecast is on, so it's about one in the morning. It's time I went to bed. I try to get to bed early these days. My bad old ways of going to bed at six, seven, eight, nine, ten in the morning. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. No, I'm trying to be a, live a better lifestyle. Yes, Bernadette looks very nice. Shame she hasn't got blue shoes to go with it. Still, that's okay. We don't want to overdo it, do we? So gilding the lily. She's got like grey and sort of greyish in her dress. Grey slide, hair slide, and well, it's meant to be silver, I suppose, and meant to be silver shoes, but I'd say grey. But yes, yeah, she does look good. Very nice. And that thing that was with the advent Barbie matches her hair streak, so that's pretty good. I think you probably need a special camera for cloud spotting the sunglasses over the lens to try and make it a little less blanked out. But those got they're in great long lines. And those other ones keep coming over the top. I've got my sunglasses on there again. So those little ones, there's those long stretched out ones, and then beyond that and higher, there's those like the small ones. They're not moving, it's just the big bugger that's moving. The misty ones are gone, the, the long drawn out misty ones are gone, and it's just those stationary ones that's still there. Mm. Can't we zoom in. So they've been there all the time, those ones, right out in the distance. They're the highest ones and they're not moving. Mm -hmm. Nice little thing. Isn't that pretty? I wish I knew what it was. So pretty. Yes, this I'm having a partake of this feast. I'm starting my some uh, Earl Grey at the moment. Oh, we've got plants in bloom here now. That's good. Not showing that for a while, but. Yeah, so I'm in bloom. 
Belota Lily. I can't remember what it's a bikini or but I don't know. Belota Lily in blue. I've got the original F-ism girl now. Look, there she is. You know I've got the replica over there. The replica. I've got the white socks version, which is the one I always wanted anyway. I'm not going to open her yet. Oh! We can't see her. She's too dark. But yeah, the original F-ism girl. So pretty. There she is. Two new additions, new recruits, I think of names for them now. Oh, what there? I should give them different shoes. Mind Rosie now, the new recruit. Two new recruits. Aisha. An ice cream van in the background. Carrying a load of grass around. It's going to be cold like that in this wind. Or tarns. Or hortense, if you prefer. some more of these. I've been without these for so long. I usually have one every day. They're lovely. But I've got some more now, so lovely. Nice. There's my tomato. There he is. And there's the other two. And uh, there's another one here as well. Can you see him? Yes, there he is. <laughs> lovely. Look how good my solar light looks I got from Sainsbury's. Oh, a few years ago when I used to go there. Yeah, it still looks good. The neighbours have got the lights out there. Look, we can't see. Yeah, that's too dark. But oh. Hey, you've got a new countermeasures story. Um, yeah, I love countermeasures. They're really good. It's a big Finnish audio. I, I, they're really, really good. I really enjoy these stories. My favourite one, I think, is The Hollow King and the first ever series. But, um, yeah. I hope I'm going to enjoy this. But the four main characters are excellent. There's Sir Toby Kinsella. There's Professor Rachel Jensen. Uh, group Captain Ian Gilmore and Dr Alison Williams. And they are excellent characters. That's Karen Gredhill. Simon Williams. What did I call him? Or did I say his real name, Simon Williams? I'm mad. I'm daft. Group Captain... I, I think I said it, though. Group Captain Ian Gilmore. I hope I said it right. And there's a... Uh, oh, what's her real name? I had it just now. That's uh, Hugh Ross, who plays Sir Toby. Oh, what's her name? The one who plays Rachel. Oh, for goodness sake. I, I always know it, but it put me off. Not couldn't rem if, remember if I said Simon Williams' name correctly or not. Oh, Pamela Salem, or Salem, of course, Pamela Salem. Yeah, that's who she is. They were in the um, Re Re Black Revelations of the Daleks. Or was it a remembrance of the Daleks? I can never remember which story it was they were in, the Doctor Who. The Sylvester Mist that I can't talk. Sylvester McCoy story. But um, I love this big Finnish audio that they do of this particular... They're my favourite of the big finish, along with um, the unit with Kate and uh, Ke well, Colonel Shindy and Osgood and Josh. And uh, yeah, they're brilliant. And oh, I can't remember the other one's name now, but really, really good to listen to when you're in bed. I've got my tea party in a tin. I'm done it. Not taken out at last. 
and they're real porcelain. I thought they'd be just like cheap plastic, but no, they're real porcelain. But look, the spoons are ridiculously large compared to the little cups and saucers. So, oh, so these should be good for the dolly tea party and the guard, well, the, the garden party video for being well. How cute! I'll have to do a little bit of photo manipulation with Microsoft Paint to get them to the right size because these are going to be far too big for the dollies and the spoons are too big. I don't know why they've got such large spoons. They're meant to be like teaspoons, you know, for the um, cups, I mean. I suppose you could sort of just go and stir. Oh, that is in the wrong place here. Stir like so. But I mean, look, you can't fit those in the car. I suppose they'd be too fiddly to mess around with if they were the right size. And you can put real hot liquid in the teapot, but you're not supposed to put them in a microwave. And you can pour, you know, you can fill it up and with tea. That's so cute. That's lovely. Oh, I've had this a few years now and I've never opened it before. So it was about time I did. There we go. Huh. Nice. I'm not sure if I ever focused on these properly in one of my former hauls. But um, I got some more of the, you know, the bath salts I like. These I haven't tried these particular ones before from Japan but um, they're all different they're, they're the cloudy ones which I like the milky ones yesterday I went into the co-op and I got six more of my lint Lindor because then promptly dropped them on the ground in there so I shall well, they'll be staying in their bag for a while before I use them now I got this dolly yesterday she came from America I'd ordered her a while back because I'd um because I wanted another one to dress up in different outfits. I wanted one to keep the, the original clothes, like this one. This was the first one I had. Now I like this one best. This one came from India. And this one came from um, America, but this one came from India. Now, it just so happens that I think she, her hair looks nicer. So that makes her look nicer. This one, uh, hair in the front is like, sort of slightly raised up, doesn't look so good. And um, I don't like the outfit she's wearing. I just don't like it. I think I want this one as well. Oh, was it this one? or I've, There she is. That's the one I've got. There's a French one. No, I think it's this one I want. Um, I've got that one. There they are. There's two. Yeah, it's this one. I think she's the French one. But um, I'm going to put her in a different outfit. So I can tell which ones are the different ones by just by looking at them. Because this one doesn't look quite so good because her fringe, or bangs if you prefer, are slightly higher and raised up, whereas this one's a flatter and they look much nicer. So this is the one I might redress to keep out as, um, you know, a doll to feature in my videos and whatever. Sissy from Australia. I'm not, sorry, I don't know why I mess around like this. I do like the... Oh, I've just broken a damn now. Oh well. Um... I do like the reflections in these boxes. They like the mirror effect. Now also, you know I've got the um Fism girl, the uh replica, the cheap replica one, where even her interchangeable faces which are meant to be different, they're both exactly the same and uh she's got the ordinary coloured rope as opposed to the red rope. Well I wanted the original, so I've got the original now with the white socks and the red rope. We won't focus on it too much because um, I don't even know if I can say that, that, we're not, that we don't have freedom of speech in, in the UK anymore. Probably not in America either. But we don't have freedom of speech in the UK. So we can't say certain things, especially not on YouTube. So um, I'll just focus on the word it says. If I say the actual word, that actual word, it is probably say it's against their guidelines or something so it's a uh, yeah Ephism is from the Ephism volume 20 manga um I haven't got the actual manga I've seen it and uh yeah I just think you know the character's cute I don't it's quite nice so that's that 
another focus on the new dolly. It's very cold today, windy. Apparently it's going to be even cold at the weekend, so people who are wanting a, a rave up on a bank holiday weekend, tough. Because it might be horrible, the weather. And it's meant to be illegal anyway. What do you think? Two weeks ago we had that lovely hot weather. I say lovely hot weather, but that might have been why my poor little friend died, because maybe she couldn't cope with it. You know the little black cat that used to come in, my little friend? They took her away from me. She hasn't even gone a year. And I, I wonder if she got really depressed being taken away, because in the photographs, whenever they've sent any, she always looks sort of dull and miserable. And in here, she used to look so bright-eyed and happy, and she'd be purring all the time, so happy to come in and see me. And she used to spend all night in here, let her sleep on my bed at nights when she came in, most of the time. Other times she'd want to go out and I'd let her out. But, um, that's made me so sad. What was that thing with foot one over and other problems I've got? Anyway, where are the new dollies? I haven't finished because I've got two more new fashionistas, haven't I? I put the, um, the, I've got a new Barbie fashion pack, which I got a week ago, um, Chocker Cat. I put it on, see in here. So, um, yeah, so that looks okay on her. It would fit a curvy as well. Anyhow, 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 here's the two new dollies. That's Aisha and that's Otong. Or Hortense, if you want to prefer the, the English pronunciation. I like that armband. Her leg comes off, you know. I've, I'll do a proper feature of the... a uh, proper video of these on my doll channel, featuring them both properly, showing their box and their anime character um picture and whatever and um so that'll be on the doll channel i'll try and do that today if i can i'll try if I get my mind to do it and i'll do a proper review of, of this these on my second channel but that might not be for a while yet i've got so many problems and things so yeah i don't know when I'm, i'll be able to do the review on this so I'll, I'll try and do it sometime but as i'm saying i'd I don't want to sound um, feeling sorry for myself, but I don't have an easy life. I've got a lot of problems to deal with, and life is not easy. It's not be summer, it's more like winter. Walking around to my friends, as I found this poor, poor little worm on the pavement. I thought it was dead. It was all just laying there, dried up. Some great lumbering bloke had walked along, but he didn't. So I wonder he hadn't trodden on it. Anyway, the little, I just looked at it for a long time. Then it's imperceptibly moved. So I'm going to put it under the worm rescuing stone here in the garden. It's alive, poor little thing. They're so important, earthworms, for the... Looks like it could have been damage on it, though, poor little thing. It's probably been trodden on. I was shame. Oh, dear. There he is. He's under the worm rescuing stone. So I think he's going into the soil, so that's good. He's making his way in. Ooh. This is what you call dedication to the environment. to see this fungus. It's quite malleable today after it's normally all dried up. She's not here at the moment. She's not here to see this. Look at it. <laughs> oh, look how I've got rain behind. Oh, I've been waiting for one. Which one have I got? Who have I got? Oh, who have I got? Oh, I've got there's no pink one here, isn't there? I think they're going to release a pink one in a special edition with a closet or something. So they ought to release a pink one. But look, she's fantastic. Look, we've got this beautiful outfit. I liked her outfit the best and I liked her hair the best. And uh, oh, that pretty dolly. She's sensational. I'm not keen on the um, outfits on the others. This one's not bad, the yellow one quite like her, but um, I don't think I'll bother with any more. This one's quite nice too. Yeah, that one's quite nice. I don't like this one's outfit. I like the green, the colour, but I don't, I don't like this one's outfit either. But um, yeah, this is lovely. Oh, she's lovely. She's so pretty. Violet Willow. It says, Welcome to Rainbow High, the boldly colourful fashion school where everyone learns to flaunt their true colours. There should be a pink one between this one and Violet. Oh, I do hope they release a pink one soon. 
complete the rainbow. <laughs> and she's got eyelashes. Oh, I love it when they've got eyelashes. And the box has got a carrying handle. Oh, how cool is that? Sorry, we're so dark in here, but yeah, we've got a carrying handle. So cool. Oh, isn't she lovely? Well, I've got my old silver camera here, and that records things in. When I try and do anything with the blue camera, this one, in, uh, in my room at night, it just comes out so dark, you can hardly see anything. That small picture I took with this earlier, well, about a second ago. But yeah, she's lovely. Oh, I'm so pleased I've got her. She's so cute. She's lovely. I love those outf outfits that she's got as well. They're so nice. And that nice dress and those shoes. So glam. Pretty. I'm glad to hear people on the radio saying they're making, buying special food to put in the garden to help hedgehogs. A, a friend of mine and what, once were talking to this woman and, and she'd moved and she was saying, oh my god I don't know what it was, I had to, oh I'm going to, she, so she got rid of all, every tiny bit of greenery in her garden because she heard them out there at night making that <laughs> noise that they make and she had the ignorance of people. Oh, I don't want that round here. I thought, what is wrong with people? There's no hope for the environment in my area because there's so many ignorant people, I'm afraid. And they don't care about anything except football, sport, takeaways, breeding, drinking. They don't care about the environment. They're just only to destroy it. Anything natural is, is in the way and that must be got rid of. And in this day and age, when we're supposed to care about the environment, and of course I'm in a minority of one, and, um, well, my friend down the road, he, he does, but, um, you know, when you're outnumbered by the people that have moved in all around you who don't care about it, what can you do? Anyway, I always dry, digress on to tan, often to tangents, but, um, that's what they're talking about on the radio at the moment, but uh, this dolly is so lovely. I'm not going to unbox her yet, I'm going to keep her, because that looks like you're looking in a display in a shop window. There's lovely shoes. So I'm going to keep her like this for a while. I've shown the others. Look, there they are. I don't like the outfit on that one. I like her top, but I don't like the rest of it. I like this one's outfit. I like that one's outfit. Don't like this at all, the green one. Now, I would like green, but not that awful outfit. This one looks quite nice. And I'm, I'm looking forward to the pink one. They're going to have a pink one with a closet. And they're going to have a nice uh, white-haired one with hair, like similar to the rainbow haired Barbie I suppose but I love this outfit everything I like everything I like that pink jacket I like that beautiful dress that lovely dress that she's wearing and that lovely pink furry jacket her shoes so not like these awful dowdy looking frumpish looking fashions that they put in the fashionistas now and those awful flat shoes on nearly every doll nearly every doll now has flat feet in the Barbie line but yeah this is lovely Oh, she's so pretty. Lovely eyelashes as well. And glass eyes. Oh, she's lovely. And she has earrings, which is another bonus. Lovely. I think the only one who doesn't have earrings in this lot is the butterfly one, because she has those butterfly clips in her hair, so she has no earrings. All the others do. Oh, so nice. Such a lovely... This is MGM, of course, not Mattel, but, um... Yeah, lovely, lovely fashions. So much nicer than what Mattel's doing nowadays with the Barbies. I think Mattel have given in to the the mother, the mothers, uh, you know, who want the dolls in shapeless, so-called modest outfits. They don't like anything glam or a bit revealing. Oh, that's inappropriate. We don't want to see that. So I think Mattel's giving in to it. That's what it looks like. So well done, MGM. This is brilliant. Brilliant! Oh, it's so nice for us doll collectors to see something really nice. I've got the second one now, but I'm frightened to listen to it in case so they don't all get out alive. I hope they're not going to kill them off. God, I, I really hope not, because I love this this group, the countermeasures, countermeasures team. They are brilliant. And um, they intended finishing. I don't know why. I, I just don't know why they intended finishing. They probably weren't selling enough that... But, um, oh, I hope they keep them going, to bring them back. Right, now, since I dropped this blue camera and um, the battery door fell off and the batteries fell out, I put the battery door back, thought everything was fine, but then I put the batteries in, which had fallen out, 
they pushed the door open. I used to have this trouble with an old Nikon camera. And um, so I've got to get an elastic band now because I'm having to hold this, hold the battery door in place. And you've only got to release the pressure slightly. And everything is just will just stop. So let me just show you. I've got... Um, I'm using the same one as I used last week, the petty grain olive. I was going to use the new skin. I was going to use the onsen bath tablet I got from Japan. But I haven't got the heart now. Everything's just getting at my nerves at the moment. There's so many problems, one thing after another. So I'm going to have to find some really strong elastic bands. But I want elastic bands. I can never find any of them. You don't need them. They're everywhere. Oh, I don't know. Green one round it. 